I've been using the Kodiak Survival Sword from Omnivore Bladeworks for a while now. It's doing very well um, over a large variety of work. Uh, one of the last things I want to have a look at is the ability of this false edge up top to do some of the harder woodworking, uh, cleaving off dead branches from trees growing in low light conditions because uh, that can save the edge because some of that wood can be really hard to cut and if I can use this part for that rather effectively it means I'd be able to thin down the main edge because I would need to make it strong enough to handle that type of work. Uh, overall it does exceptionally well, has a lot of power, blade is very versatile really liking the handle, it has a very aggressive uh, pattern on it and it's very versatile because of the length so you can work up close for fine work and go far down on the end for uh, heavier work or just to give you more reach. A uh, couple of things I want to say about using longer blades like this uh, first thing is you want to take account of the versatility you can get because you have all this extra blade length. So you can see here's a heavy power region that I normally use when I do most chopping because I do a lot of heavy chopping so it's basically power based or momentum based rather than uh, sort of speed based which would put you up sort of here closer to the tip. So most of my chopping will be in this area which means the blade will wear predominantly in this area. Now if you just do that and don't do a lot of other work with the blade you'll end up sharpening the blade and throwing away steel here and steel down here that's never really been used. So what I like to do basically is spread the wear out a little bit more. Now up by the tip there's a couple of things that you can uh, normally do with that outside. Of course the first thing is cleaning light vegetation like grasses and brushes and stuff like that. And again it works very well because once you grab it down by the handle you have something that reaches straight down to where your feet is so you almost touch the ground. So it clears brush relatively well. Uh, but that's not very dulling on the blade because you're essentially cutting very light woods and you can do that for a long time unless you hit rocks and other things and and that will dent up the blade a little. The other thing is uh, cleaning up wood. A lot of the wood I cut and basically burn for fuel is reharvested wood. So it usually can be a bit in terms of limbs. You can have a lot of little, lot of limbs on, a lot of knobs, a lot of stumps that you sort of got to get rid of. And again, and don't use the power section of the blade for that. I use this section up here, or even use the section down by the handle. Because again, you're just cutting off a couple of branches on a big stick of wood. You're not doing that much work, but it's much harder work to do. So again, I can put some wear down here and some wear up here. Now the other thing that I do is when I split wood with this and some of the nastier wood that needs to be split that has a lot of knots in it, again I position either this section of blade or this section of blade as the part that got to cut through the knots and again sort of even out the wear uh, that's on the blade. Now if wood splits relatively easy there's no real issue of course and there's no real wear because uh, you're just splitting the wood and the wood opens up in front of the edge but if you do have to cut through knots it can be fairly telling on the edge much more so than uh, regular chopping will again so you just spread the wear out on the blade. The other thing is I do like to take this in the kitchen now it's not a knife designed for kitchen work the main thing is it's so large it's kind of awkward to use but again you're just using it because it's entertaining it's fun I mean if you've got to prepare a chicken or do some kind of work like that it's a bit more enjoyable to do it with this than a regular kitchen knife if you had the time and uh, inclination. So again I do up around the tip I can use it for finer work and down here by the handle of course is where I do my power cutting around the bones share through the carcass, the joints and that type of stuff and again I'm just spreading the wear out along the blade so by the time I do need to get to sharpen it I'm sharpening the whole edge uh, rather uniformly. And of course generally when you're doing chopping too as well on the heavier wood I'll sort of chop right about here but on the lighter wood where it's not doesn't take that much effort I can again go towards the tip or I can even go down here and that's again just to space it out so I try to keep the whole edge blunting at roughly the same rate. The last thing I'd like to mention is um, in regards to edge damage and the other thing that I sort of like to do is I sort of save up a lot of the tasks that I have to do and because sooner or later no matter how careful you are the blade is going to get damaged unless you're actually washing the materials that you're cutting which is obviously I'm not going to be doing 
But sooner or later, they hit material that's a bit dirty, or if you're out using it, you'll hit a nail that somebody has spiked into a piece of wood because they're an idiot. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you get a nick or a dent in the blade. Well, after a while, these can sort of build up, and you're going to have to sharpen it eventually anyway. So what I like to do at that point in time is take this and do the harder work that I got to do. Like, for example, recently, I found an old fence uh, that I need to clean up. So the fence posts I can actually take, I can pry the staples out of them, um, pry the nails out of them, take the fencing off, roll that up, uh, that can just be returned and recycled. Uh, and the posts can actually take down, of course, and burn them either in a bonfire. Uh, you generally wouldn't want to burn them in a wood stove because uh, they're filthy. You wouldn't want to bring them inside the house, a lot of insects and stuff in them. Uh, so that kind of work is kind of dirty. The fence is on the ground and she's been on it for a couple of years. Uh, so the edge is most likely going to take a beating when you actually start doing stuff like that. And by that point in time, like I said, I've already had a couple of nicks or dents in it anyway from harder work that I've got done. And then I can sort of space out the work along the blade because, again, I'm going to sharpen it anyway. So now is the time to do the harder work. So I think I'll use this for a while and just check. And eventually, once the coating wears or wears down anyway enough, I will probably regrind this as I've done to some other blades. And I'll take the angle of the edge down probably around 12 degrees per side and then run a micro bevel on top of that and reduce the thickness down to around say 25 in the heavy chopping area down around 5 in the carving and I may take the tip down to around 15 thou depending on what I'm going to use the blade for if I can use this back switch for the heavier limbing then I'll keep the tip area down to around 15 but if this doesn't work out very well for that I may leave the tip closer to 25 so I can do harder limbing, but just some more work with it. But overall, I'm uh, really liking this blade, like the way it cuts, like the length, uh, like the versatility. I don't think I can go any longer than this before it will become too awkward and I wouldn't be able to use it as a knife at all. And I can still use this a fair amount as a knife. It's awkward, but not sort of impossible. But I think if it was longer than this, uh, it would really be on that. And I like the nice point on the top that's coming in use. But I'll have to check that a bit later on. I want to see how it responds to heavier woodworking. That's one of my concerns. Uh, breaking wood apart, uh, especially in the winter when it gets frozen together. It's nice to have a really strong tip when you're trying to separate wood. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But overall, really like the handle, really like the blade. And it's working relatively well so far.